Well, good evening. And welcome to commencement 2018 at Hopkins High School. My name is Doug Bollinger, and I proudly serve as the principal here. And I would like to not only welcome you to commencement, but also introduce you to the esteemed individuals standing in front of me. Starting in the middle, Director Chris Latondras. <laughs> Director Dave Larson. Dave. <laughs> Director Jen Bouchard. Director Fartoon Ahmed. Treasurer Steve Adams. Vice Chair Chris Newcomer. Chair Wendy Donovan. And our Superintendent, Dr. Mirapiri Reed. Yes. I'd like to welcome Kayla Trimble and Ben Hurstead to the stage. Carrying the United States flag, accompanied by Brianna Beattie's performance of America the Beautiful, is Preston Wesley. Preston is enlisted in the Minnesota National Guard. The Minnesota state flag is being carried by Thomas Schwartout. Thomas is an, also enlisted in the Minnesota National Guard. Please rise for the procession of the flag of Minnesota and the flag of the United States of America. Please be seated. The 37 flags that follow the flag of the United States of America represent the various countries with which this year's graduating class associates. The flag of Bangladesh. Belgium. Cambodia, Canada, China, Czech Republic, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Denmark, Djibouti, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Finland, France, Gambia, Germany, Ghana, Guatemala. Guyana. India. Iran. Israel. Italy. 
Japan. Kenya. Mexico. Netherlands. Nigeria. Norway. Peru. Philippines. Russia. Somalia. Spain. Sri Lanka. Sweden. Tibet. And Venezuela. Good evening and welcome to the commencement ceremony for the Hopkins High School Class of 2018. My name is Kayla Trumbull. And I'm Ben Hersig. Do you remember the first day of kindergarten? Yes, vividly. I skipped a grade and I wouldn't stop telling everyone how I was super smart and skipped the last year of preschool. You still won't stop telling everybody that, Ben? What can I say? I'm gifted. I may have skipped preschool, but I'm still not even sure how to log into Infinite Campus. One thing I can say about our class is we sometimes take a while to get our stuff together. Well, yeah, our dances were poorly attended in years past. And yeah, our bingo night failed. And yeah, our newspaper missed deadlines. But amid this dysfunction, we saw students rise to the occasion, fill holes where they hadn't been filled, and move their classmates to action. And I think that we can all agree that by our senior year, our dance attendance kind of got better. You know what, Ben? You're right. Take our Black History Month parade. We planned it from scratch, and on the day of the parade, snow. I had to come pick you up. I got stuck in the middle of it. But, but amidst the distraction and struggle, we found a way to function. We represented voices that are underrepresented, and our hope is that we brought attention to black leaders who aren't MLK or Rosa Parks. Actually, the parade was my favorite thing that happened this year, and it was all planned by HHS Response. I learned a lot about all of you by being a part of HHS Response. From the parade to the mental health fishbowl, to the Day of the Dead parade or display, to my personal favorite, the student-led walkout. We knew nothing would change unless we stepped up and made our voices heard, and we walked out in solidarity with the rest of the country on March 14th for 17 minutes. We weren't the only group who wanted to plan this, but in the end, we had so many voices step up that it basically planned itself. Both the parade and this walkout came down to this. We care about our community, and we are not going to sit back and let things change without us having a say in them. Ben. Don't forget, during the walkout, HHS Responds got a lot of people to register to vote. But coming down to it all, I can say is that class of 2018 has sure made a change at Hopkins High School. While these are the things that we did, I think that being in these groups helped us see more of the leadership brought out in other groups. We saw LMPM representing us at the girls' state semifinal basketball game. We saw Girls United send a bill to the Capitol. We saw clubs collaborate to send hurricane relief to Puerto Rico. We can't list them all because there are just too many. During everything we did this year, we had to think about what college we were going to attend, if we were going to attend, becoming an adult. What is adulting? The future has been on our minds since we stepped foot in this high school. I don't think I could have made it throughout this year without all of my friends. Y'all know who y'all are. <laughs> and don't forget all of those amazing teachers who helped us get to where we are today. 
What I hope is that our senior class has paved the way for next year's class to do bigger and better things. We know the junior class has heard and seen us. We know that they will take the torch and carry it farther, speak louder, and create more change. Class of 2018, let's hear you make some noise. Seniors, 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 seniors. <laughs> Up next, the choir conducted by Miss Katie Irvin will be performing Bridge Over Troubled Water by Simon and Garfunkel, the single one Song of the Year and the Grammy Awards of 1971, with its al album also winning several awards in the same year. Tonight, our choir will sing the choral arrangement by Kirby Shaw for us.
first student speaker, Alex Jono, is a highly people can turn to for any sort of advice. He has attended Hopkins for 16 years and will be continuing his journey next year at the University of Minnesota's Carlson School of Management. Thank you, Kayla, for the introduction. Greetings, Hopkins High School graduates, families, faculty, and community members. I stand before you today with great honor and privilege to share my time here at Hopkins High School and reflect our distinctive, exemplary, and unique class members. Parents and guardians, you have much to be proud of on this day. In just a few months' time, many of your children will be attending college, working full-time, or heading on a new, unforeseen journey overseas, to name a few. This means you can finally get what you've long been waiting for, to turn that pigsty of a bedroom into a new home office. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, the speech. We graduate today as Hopkins Royals. Now believe me, I never thought I would take the time to overanalyze our school mascot and what it stands for, but here I am today. As many of you may already know, our mascot is a lion who wears a crown. Seems pretty over the top, doesn't it? The highest symbol of power in medieval Europe and the king of the jungle. Historically, the crown has symbolized power, victory, triumph, honor, and glory. Lions have been called kings of the jungle for various reasons, but perhaps the most fascinating reason is that their roars can be heard from five miles away. In essence, both signify royalty, hence our namesake. But how does this relate to Hopkins, or even high school for that matter? Well, our students who will attend prestigious universities, become famous professionals, world leaders, musicians, own a business on Main Street in our very own downtown Hopkins, or choose their own path are that lion's roar. That five mile radius of a lion's roar will be dwarfed by the impact we as alumni will leave on this world. We will spread out to dimensions only bound by the limits of the earth, or maybe even break those limits, and continue to make these roars thousands of miles away. Among our alumni are world-class athletes, musicians, entrepreneurs, builders, and creators in their respective fields. Soon, many members of this class of 2018 will be enshrined among our notable alumni due to their excellence as scholars, athletes, and citizens. This excellence, instilled in us from Hopkins High School, will be that crown we wear, the symbol among, of distinction amongst others. For the last four years, each and every student here has worked hard to hold that prized piece of paper which signifies their commitment to academics and scholarship, a paper crown, if you will. So what's next? Realistically, nobody's going to remember the grades you got in those AP classes, or your ACT score for that matter. What will be remembered, however, is when the boys and girls basketball teams went to state, those dramatic plays put on by theater, football winning three straight homecoming games, the fantastic Pops concerts, endless nights working on robotics, or the memories you made with those three different groups of friends you never imagined would change throughout your time in high school. On that same note, what I will remember most is how this diverse senior class put our differences aside and came together beautifully for the sake of our last year of high school, something I feel is truly remarkable. With that in mind, I think we can all agree that individuals celebrating themselves is trifling at best. However, when you look at our group as a whole, only then can you see the true talent, academic excellence, and outstanding achievements of this class of 2018. It is without a doubt something everyone in this room can be proud of. For the 511 Hopkins Royals wearing that cap and blue gown today, I want to thank you sincerely for providing me with a high school experience I wouldn't trade for the world and will never forget. On behalf of the class of 2018, I would also like to thank all of our past teachers, counselors, and all other staff members who have helped us to get where we are today. I'm also dedicating this speech to my late grandfather who passed a week ago and was my biggest fan throughout this process. In the end, no matter where the class of 2018's graduates end up, we will all have one thing in common, royalty. And with that being said, 
We're that Crown Royals. We earned it. Tonight, our Philharmonic Orchestra, led by Miss Allison Swiggum, will perform the celebration by Richard Mayer. Truly a celebration in itself, this song from 1989 is a classic. Contrasting style sections and lively rhythms accent the festive nature of this piece, and tonight our orchestra will be playing it for us. Our second student speaker, Kylie Newcomb, is a dedicated varsity soccer player and track runner. Kylie is one of the people in this high school that will make everyone laugh. She is the life of the party and she is very loving with a huge heart. Her great and loving personality will only continue to grow as she starts her education at University of St. Thomas. Thank you, Kayla, for introducing me. I seriously could not imagine graduation happening any other way. Hello, class of 2018, teachers, family, and friends. On this unforgettable day, we celebrate our academic success, personal connections, and most importantly, our individual growth. Here we are, we finally did it. Let's give ourselves one more round of applause. Having been a part of the Hopkins community for almost 14 years, I know the teachers and students at this district. Let's take it back to the beginning, 2004. My family had just moved near the end of the school year and it was my first day stepping foot into the Hopkins doors to go to the Stepping Stones. I was kicking and screaming, liter literally forcing my mom to sit at preschool and play my favorite game, Hangman with me. I dreaded the idea of being around these kids I had never met. First friend, as I was immediately surrounded by kids and teachers who were so welcoming. 
I began to know the presence that every student at Hopkins brings. The love to learn, crack jokes, and befriend everyone in sight. This is the reason I am so proud to graduate with you. From using trash bags as sleds to playing intense games of four square at recess, we have been through life together, and I've become who I am today because of you all. I cannot thank you enough for being a part of this journey with me. As we depart from what we call home, I want us to have the same mission. Steve Jobs once said, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. As we each go off to our own places and achieve our dreams and goals, remember to wear your values on your sleeve and to celebrate the moment. What I mean by this is do not go into accounting if you are a natural born artist and do not become a scientist if your passion is journalism. You'll never have more enthusiasm or hair than now. So during this journey, focus on your roots. What keeps you going? That which gives us energy may change with new jobs, relationships, and families, but be brave. Take the leap, and please, do not compromise yourself and what you believe in for something temporary. During the crazy ride throughout high school, we may already believe that we got everything figured out, and boy, are we wrong. This is just the beginning. We still have our whole lives ahead of us, and it moves pretty fast. Take it from our parents. Time is the only gift given free to you, so do not be absent from your own life. As I think back on my long career in the Hopkins District, I realize how genuinely distinct the school and class is. The class of 2018 is a community in every aspect. We are accepting and encouraging, growing as we push each other out of our comfort zones. You will see this class at their best during pet fest, sporting events, and in the classroom. This is where we are not divided, and this is where all the different groups of this class come together as one. When LMPM is drumming away and everyone somehow learns how to catch a beat, when Deeply Royals performs and everyone screams for their friends, or how about when we befriend someone we never thought we would in a classroom? This is when we see how we are united. We are different. We recognize how different we are in race, socioeconomic class, orientation, gender, aspirations, and achievement. But the Hopkins High School class of 2018 does not treat these differences as barriers. We choose to treat them as an invitation to learn more. It truly is troubling to think that I will not be seeing all of you every day. However, the excitement that I have for everyone here is simply unimaginable. So, class of 2018, get excited for life's challenges, the thousands of minutes of laughter you'll have, and the people you will meet because it is starting now. Take a good look around. Soon, these people surrounding you will all just be a memory. But that memory is of the people that we will remember when we think of where we come from and all that we are. Look at the person next to you and give them the head nod because we are finally here. Seize this moment. There will never be one like this. I would like to thank every single one of you for being a stepping stone in our past, present, and future. Have fun in this life. You may not get another one. I know remarkable things are ahead of us, and boy, do I look forward to seeing you all in 10 years. Here's to the class of 2018. Tonight, the Wind Ensemble, led by Mr. William Bell, will be performing Fusion by Brian Balmages. This piece was chosen because the word fusion, defined as the process or result of joining two or more things together to form a single entity, exemplifies the senior student body class of Hopkins High School. We are a widely diverse community of students that has come together and accomplished great things as the class of 2018. Please welcome Mr. William Bell and the Hopkins High School Wind Ensemble. Thank you. 
musicians to return to, return to their seats. Okay, Mr. Doug Bollinger, known by some simply as Doug, even though he never introduced himself that way, is closing out his second year as principal at Hopkins High School. This is his 18th year in education, 10 of them being in the classroom. It should be noted he began teaching teachers and being my best friend, <laughs> Doug. <laughs> Well, thank you to my, to my besties, Kayla and Ben over here, and good evening again, everyone. I want to thank you for making the time to celebrate this class of students. They've impressed us, and tonight's MCs and speakers are cases in point. Let's give them another round of applause, please. Before we proceed, I have some information to share regarding the Alumni Challenge. 50 of the seniors sitting here today have already pledged money for future graduates. To date, they have raised $647. So nice job, seniors. This is a special night uh, for both students and families. However, for some in our community, this evening isn't what they had envisioned. I ask that we please take a moment, of, a moment to silently remember our classmates, friends, and family members who we've lost and who can't be with us here tonight. Thank you. Tonight, I'd like to share with the graduates some sage advice. I should admit that the inspiration for this advice has its origins in a men's restroom, but wait, I can explain. 11 years ago, I was a teacher at a nearby rival high school whose colors are green and white. My wife and I were expecting our first child that summer. One day at school in the restroom, I was washing my hands when a fellow teacher sauntered up to a nearby sink. Hey, Doug. Hey, Jason. I hear you're expecting your first child this summer. Yeah, we are, I said cheerily. And here's where the advice kicks in. Jason then paused, lowered his voice, and said three words that go through my mind to this day. Catching my eye in the mirror, he said, live now. <laughs> you notice that that's only two words. The third word is not suitable for a family show. I gave Jason a confused chuckle. He went on to tell me that he loved his two young children, but he hadn't realized that once a certain era of your life has passed, there is no going back. It was an ominous message, and I left that bathroom shaking my head a little, thinking, why doesn't he like his kids so much? And dear heaven, what have my wife and I gotten ourselves into? Flash forward to today, I now have a 10-year-old son and a 7-year-old daughter, and I totally get what Jason was trying to tell me that day. I can hardly remember what it was like to have the freedoms of no children. 
I'm still shocked at how much it costs to raise them. And I'd love to be able to sleep past 6.30 someday. Nowadays, most of our money goes to either Target or Costco. Uh, in the movie Old School, maybe you know this one, uh, there's a line about having a nice little Saturday planned, complete with a trip to Home Depot and maybe Bed Bath & Beyond, if there's enough time. I used to laugh at that line, now I find it frighteningly accurate. And while I'm at it, my knees are starting to hurt. They just, they just hurt. I didn't do anything to them. Just, they hurt. Meanwhile, I look out at all of you on the precipice of potentially the best, healthiest five to seven years you will experience to date. Your late teens and early 20s are a dynamic time. You're about to enjoy freedoms you've never known, have experiences you'll never forget, and meet people you'll know for the rest of your lives. If you look around you right now, you'll see literally hundreds of people who liter or similarly look back fondly on the precipice upon which you are currently perched. But here's where Jason was wrong. We're excited for you, yes, but we're not jealous. I wouldn't exchange any of my current life to go back to an earlier stage. I'm incredibly happy with where I am. Last weekend, for example, I got to spend 10 hours outside watching my son play baseball. I capped the weekend off by going to my daughter's first piano recital. And I get to be principal at the best high school in the state of Minnesota. Right? So life is good. Still, I confirm to you what Jason said to me 11 years ago. Live now. As you venture out beyond Hopkins, maximize this time in your life. And here's how. Say hello to the stranger. Take a risk. Try something new. Ask her out. Ask him out. Go out for that team. Fall down. Get back up. Audition for the play. Pick up a new instrument. Study abroad. Travel. Volunteer. Take the road trip. For sure, take the road trip. My friends and I once drove to Bismarck, North Dakota. Bismarck. For one night, just to watch my friend Bill play junior hockey. It was one of the best memories of my early 20s. And I don't want to do it again. That's my point. <laughs> I'm living now, too. I'm living a full life now because of the risks that I took when I was younger, in, earlier in life. Things that helped me grow, things that made me uncomfortable. Fun fact, I actually played on the University of Minnesota racquetball team. I was not particularly good, but I put myself out there. So students, as you move forward, don't do destructive things. Be sure to call home every now and again. But whatever you do, do not watch these years pass you by. Live now, knowing that the chapter of life that you are about to write will set you up for even better chapters later on. We look forward to seeing your story unfold. Thank you. Dr. Rhoda Mary Peary Reed, known as Dr. MR by some, is just finishing her first year as superintendent of Hopkins Public Schools. Dr. MR has most enjoyed visiting classrooms in all of our schools and believes that the Hopkins district is great because she has seen teachers work intensely and creatively to meet the unique needs of individual learners. She is the first woman superintendent for our district and is one of just a handful of women superintendents in the state of Minnesota. She has a daughter and a son who attend Hopkins schools. One of her favorite things to do is to hear high schoolers talk about the ideas they have to improve the schooling and educational experiences for young people. Thank you, Ben. So, I have a catchphrase that I've come to love. And it's this, Hopkins is the world, and the world is Hopkins. Graduates, this is the day you are leaving Hopkins, and soon you'll venture into the world beyond Hopkins. But because you've been educated here, you're ready for that world. In fact, you're way ahead of others. You've experienced how diverse this globe is linguistically, religiously, racially, and economically. The world, like Hopkins, is an interconnected and ever-changing place. And in Hopkins, we are part of global change. 
and graduates, each one of you is a blossoming change maker. If you use the world as your canvas, what will you decide to change? By the year 2025, people will wear clothes that are digitally connected to the internet, and the first implantable mobile phone will be created. The internet is changing the way we live, produce, and consume. Who will create systems that ensure people's personal privacy, data security, and personal relationships are not jeopardized along the way? Who will help underdeveloped nations connect to affordable internet? Although you don't know it yet, some of these change makers will be you. By the year 2050, the world must feed 9 billion people. Solving this problem will require developing sustainable agriculture and reducing water use. The change makers who solve these scientific and behavioral dilemmas will save lives and create jobs. Although you don't know it yet, some of these change makers will be you. And lastly, by 2133, the world is expected to see the wealth gap close between men and women. Achieving gender equality isn't just a moral issue. It makes economic sense. Because of access to health and education, to political power and earning potential, gender equality is fundamental to whether societies thrive. Yet gender parity is not happening fast enough. Technology advancements, food development, and gender equality are three of the top 10 most critical challenges we face on this globe. And you, Hopkins graduates of 2018, are positioned to learn ways and leverage your skills in solving these and other world dilemmas. Visiting classrooms at the high school and talking with many of you, it is clear we have strong, civic-minded students who think like scholars and question existing practice with a critical lens. We have students who think beyond themselves and dream of a better, higher functioning way of being and doing. Need some examples? Think HHS Responds and Girls United. Think student government and student-led protest back on May 14. Think Envirothon and Earth Club, GSA, DECA, HOSA, Feminist Club, and Robotics. Whether you excelled in AP or in HAP, you hurdled challenges and became an agent of your own change. Those of you who performed on stage through song, theater, music, or speech, you likely faced a bit of stage fright, but you undoubtedly shaped others' world views. And influencing thinking is a key ingredient to change making. What do you think you'll be doing in 10 years that you couldn't have conceptualized today? I tell you, I had no idea I would one day be a superintendent of schools. In 1990, when I graduated from Bloomington Kennedy High School and boarded an airplane by myself to attend a college in Connecticut I had not previously visited, I was wholly naive, awkward, and unsure, and walked around on campus that first day wearing a Minnie Mouse t-shirt and matching red shorts. Not a good look. I did not look, talk, or act like an education change maker. Yet suddenly, because time passes with little patience, here I am talking with you. And for you, time will carry on faster than you can see yourself evolve. The challenge, therefore, is to experience your post-high school life in a way that makes it feel like time is on your side. Be intentional and be present. Search for your worthy purpose. Focus on people, one person at a time. 
and don't waste time with people who mistreat you. Don't lose yourself with drugs or other influencers that have the power to damage your goodness. Love yourself and find ways to love other people less fortunate than you and discover important ways to make change. I am so confident in your change-making potential. Will you change gender inequality? Will you diminish world poverty? Will you advance technology but work to protect people from its dangers? Will you make the world a better place with your art, scholarly contributions, music, or athletic talent? Here in Hopkins, we aspire to create change makers. This is because we care about what the world needs so we can live in a better Hopkins, in a greater Minnesota, a more enlightened world. Hopkins is the world and the world needs you, graduates. Parents, families, teachers, and other valued staff here this evening, this celebration is for you too. These graduates are your legacy our legacy. We extend our gratitude for your tireless devotion to their education. Graduates, we all look forward to seeing the change that you will create in this world. Congratulations, class of 2018. Thank you. I would like to thank Principal Bullinger and the staff who worked together to make this special ceremony possible. And now, that special moment you've been waiting for has arrived. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Chair Donovan, and members of the Hopkins School Board, each 2018 graduate honored in our presence this evening has successfully met Minnesota State requirements in order to rightfully receive the Hopkins Public Schools Diploma. I am proud to present the graduating class of 2018. Congratulations, graduates. Hassan Abbas. Asha Abdi. Samira Abdi. Yasin Abdi. Muna Abdurrahman. Alexandra Ackerman. Jack Akum. Cameron Agu. Joseph Aulis. Ashraf Idrus. George Alexander. Liban Ali. Murad Ali. King Solas Allah. Kaya Allen. Adil. Julia Amundsen. Olivia Anand. Michaela Anderson. Kinsey Anderson. Samuel Anderson. Samantha Anderson. Tyler Anthony. 
Savell Anthony. Andreu Arbona Gelabert. Liliana Appleman. Jordan Ashby. Maximilian Arneson. Thomas Off. Douglas Ashling. Otto B. Eve Atwater. Corinna Bakey. Josh Ideal. Alexander Bank. Lamede Bengila. Logan Barham. Evelyn Barzak. Faduma Bashir. Stephen Barnier. Ian Baxter. Carlos Barrios. Cassandra Bedford. Carly Bass. Jackson Belrose. Hunter Beaudry. Jada Bennett. Ava Bell. Jada Biggs. Gabriela Beltran Zavala. Serena Bissell. Kira Bergren. Lorraine Blair. Victoria Bow. Wayne Blakes. Greta Bolstad. Sydney Bloomquist. Brendan Bosker Elliott. Emily Bullen. John Bove. Matthew Bonte. Zachary Branson. Perez Bubred. Jane Bremer. Jason Bradford. Raymond Brendelin. Amanda Briegel. Karina Briones Carrera. Matthew Briegel. Avinoam Bunt. Graham Brimmer. Maxwell Burke. William Broderson. Emma Buttress. Clara Burke. Anthony Campagnola. Jasmine Burt. Madison Campbell. Benjamin Chechka. Amir Carter. Grace Campbell. Veronica Siminski. Emma Carlson. Ling Chang. Ramon Castellanos. Sarah Clay. Jer Chang. Tony Cody. Christian Chiraboga. Grant Cohen. Kyle Chiraboga. Alex Condon. Max Clifford. Aviv Cooperman. Benjamin Cohen. Caitlin Crowley. Maisha Collins. Isaac Deichman. Dante Conover. Simeon Daniel. Jacob Counts. Stephanie Daniels. McKinley Cutter. Anthony Davis. Roberto Dale. Curtis Davis. Ashleen Daniels. Lily Dan Hartog. Aliana Davis. 
Neil DeVries Smith. Charina Davis. Alyssa Doomer Simmons. Devereaux Davis. Shakara Eatman. Ivy DeCastro. Alexander Edstrom. Natalie Den Hartog. Noah Emerson. Isaiah Ditter. Danielle Ingelin. Brandon Doomer. Victor Espinoza Castro. Christina Divig. Annika Falke. Spencer Divig. Ian Figler. Samuel Eklund. Emma Feinberg. Isaac Eng. Dawson Felke. Jennifer Enriquez. Connor Fitzgerald. Jasmine Evans Curry. Nicholas Flanders. Mubina Farid. Daniela Fergali. Tate Fees. Carmen Garagos. Abigail Fetal. Jessica Gear. Libby Fern. Matthew Gerstner. Ellie Fishman. Sylvie Gittler. Gabriel Fishman. Jonathan Goins. Madeline Fontaine. Elijah Goldberg. Logan Freed. Hannah Goldfarb. Nicholas Gardner. Lindell Goodman. Mohammed Gell. Marley Goral. Sophie Gershon. Zachary Graceman. Bo Jernis. Hannah Graham. Emily Gehring. George Greeley. Joshua Gehring. Brianna Green. Olivia Gollan. August Gunderson. Eduardo Gonzalez. Yelena Holman. Sophia Goodman. Colin Hammond. Sydney Gottlieb. Savannah Harf. Madison Greenbush. Zachary Hatling. Emily Gray. Jan Hebelt. Karma Jitosan. Brandon Hendricks. Sophia Haley. Kong Cheng Her. Angelina Hammond. Benjamin Herstig. Kylie Hanley. Nick Hill. Ronald Harris. Kristen Ho. Lamonte Hayes. Joe Hoy. Joseph Hedstrom. Logan Hoffman. Thomas Hepperlin. Catherine Hohertz. Antonio Hernandez. Esme Holsather. Catherine Hess. Samantha Horowitz. Xarian Hill. 
Henry Hughes. Carlton Hoagland. Sean Hunwardson. Jesper Hoffman. Annika Ersing. Madeline Holiski. Fartoon Ise. Lauren Horgan. Christian Jelks. Lisa Havelin. Zoe Jeske. Kayla Hunt. Mark Jimenez. Benjamin Hurth. Michael Johnson. Nika Isaenko. Nicholas Johnstone. Cade Jello. Alex Jono. Tyrese Jessup. Katie Kadoon. Jasper Johnson. Johnny Connor. R. Aiden Johnson. Sydney Kerber. Imoni Jones Slaughter. Alyssa Clover. Mark Kyra. Callie Kumichel. Jalika Kasama. Atharv Kulkarni. Benjamin Katona. Eric Langenfield. Tamina Kanam. Micah Lavasser. Sophia Koritz. Ashley Lay. Michael Korsh. Chen Lee. Shana Korsh. Tong Lee. Charles Lamantia Holm. Austin Lehman. America Lara Isadoria. Riley Lennon. Randy Lawson. Jenna Leesman. Jordan Leclerc. Raphael Lewis. Tara Lee. Sharon Lynn. Tu Wang Lee. David Lorenz. Rachel Lemus. Grace Luke. Theodore Lynch. Shannon Lundin. Mitchell Levesque. Stephen Main. Zachary Lebesny. Isabel Marinel. Bodie Labarski. Avery Martins Goldman. Saeed Mohammed. Armand Martinez. Abigail Mandler. Amanda Matheson. Shannon Maroney. Larray Maxi Moore. Abigail Martin. Blake McManus. Reese Massengill. Samuel Mengi. Dade Mathias. Christoph Michalov. King Mendoza Woolley. Cody Miller. Jack Messerly. Elizabeth Miranda. Riel Miguel. Evan Miranda. Sydney Mintelar. Anthony Mock. 
Juri Miyashida. Muna Mohammed. Nazro Moalim. Deontay Moore. Medino Mohammed. Dalton Mosier. Sabirin Mohammed. Michael Matsko. Sophia Mohammed. Persephone Murph. Brandon Morelios Isadoria. Alec Musitris. Kira Mosley. Anna Nagel. Julian Munizaro. Andrew Neely. Scott Murray. Brant Nelson. Asma Jamal. Jane Nelson. Navit Natmias. Jamie Nenadich. Claire Nash. Catherine Newman. Grace Nelson. Austin Nolder. Dylan Nelson. Rakia Norman. Kaylee Nelson. Chandra Noyes. Kylie Newcomb. Aaron O'Malley. Ross Nordine. Lawam Agbe. Dominic Novelli. Joanne Okemwa. Ilham Noor. Evan Olson. Kitriana Odom. Amin Omar. Jeffrey Ohm. Beverly Osborne. Amanda Olson. Marja Marjan Pargo. Colin Olson. Ian Patton. Andrea Oliveira Oros. Alexander Pavelka. Savan Skriseth. Alyssa Peck. Hassan Osman. Raul Perez. John Otieno. Alexander Peterson. Alexander Patridge. Madison Peterson. Annika Patterson. Casey Petron. Sheridan Pavelka. Fran Francesca Piazza. Andrew Pellerin. Ashling Pauley. Evan Pel Pellerin. Bryn Percy. Avery Peterson. Angela Rainey. Soli Peterson. Kelson Rouser. Amari Phillips. Justin Reifsteck. Kira Porter. Delante Rendo. Thomas Radzi. Joseph Richard. Jacob Ratner. Isaiah Roberts. Rihanna Ray. Julio Reyes. Hannah Renke. Dina Rosen. Leo Reuter. Ethan Rosenthal. Danielle Riccio. Luke Roth. Austin Ritchie. Bruce Russell. 
Garrett Robinson. Aisha Saeed. Gage Rogstad. Abdi Saeed. Jacob Rosenblum. Tanner Salzer. Ryan Rossborough. Jack Sandow. Sophia Rothman. Sydney Schaefer. Brendan Sackey. Heather Schofield. Magna Saldana. Hawken Seafield. Brett Salter. Evan Siegel. Christian Sanchez. Tyler Seltzer. Sophia Sandler. Martina Shamlu. Willow Sherwinski. Ariel Shaver. Connor Seedoff. Anastasia Shanahan. Adam Siegel. Selena Singh. Jack Selinger. Lily Smith. Benjamin Surstock. David Sheldon. Elena Steinman. Nicholas Shirley. Kyle Straczynski. Gabriel Silverena. Dominique Stubbs. Callie Smith. Raina Suggs. Lucy Smith. Benjamin Swenson. Kevin Sukar. Zachary Taylor. Connor Stack. Dessa Thomas. Kiara Stonebreaker. Evan Tickle. Michaela Stonebreaker. Rasha Tolliver. Antonio Suarez. Leighton Tingji. Thomas Swartout. William Tufford. Yuri Swinyakov. Ian Tugood. Fiona Tejada. Marin Vandellen. Kong Tao. C. Vang. Lindsay Thompson. Hayden Vickery. I know who he is. Kyle Tinoco. Juan Villalobos Lara. Devin Tui. Peng Vu. Matthew Tomlinson. Dakela Walker. Kayla Trimble. Alex Wall. Nuria Tushans. Brandon Walling. <laughs> John Baller. Juan Walton. Jason Bang. Kenneth Washington. Hugo Van Nuenhove. Jane Wiesner. Kendra Victoria. Riker Weiler. Anna Von Duke. Preston Wesley. William Bong. Zachary Wigley. Anissa Wallingford. Elizabeth Willett. Amy Ward. Annika Williams. Amaria Ward West. Jack Wilson. Thomas Warden. Robert Wilson. Megan Woodruff. Akeen Woods. Annika Wainer. Chloe Wolfie. Andy Weissman. 
Mai Zhang. Jamisia White. Su Zhang. Anthony Will. Chai Yang. Amantre Williams. Chufu Yang. Tyron Williams West. Shaquanda Young. Nikki Wilson. Abigail Yosha. Jamisha Workman Pierre. Shawanden Ziegler. Khalil Wright. Madeline Zapoy. Pa Shang. Nasim Yahia. Chi Meng Yang. El Yor. Luke Yurzak. Sophia Eunice. Paul Zeitz. Families and Hopkins community. Yep. The class of 2018. Thank you. 